Hi, so I've cut out all the pieces. Loads, I mean there's loads and loads and loads of pieces. Just a crazy amount of pieces. But I've done it all. Um, this is quite tricky to cut. Um, because I didn't want to cut the length off, so I kind of went in between and like trimmed like that. I didn't want to lose the length of the fur. Ethan, can you remember that I'm videoing, darling? Thank you. Right, so, step one. Step one of making, what is that hanging down there? It's a bit of fur from memory bears. Um, is making the ear. So it's just sewing the two pieces of ear together. So you've got this bumpy, uh, whatever it's called, this stuff. And then you've got, then you've got ears. So, you say to see together like you do any other set of ears. Now, Sarah does give a very nice little hint and tip in the book to have the felt uppermost because it's easier. Which makes sense. So I'm just going to pin those in place to make the sewing together easier. So it just says trim the seam allowance away to be able to turn it through especially at the point make sure they're mirror images of each other turn them through push out the tip pleat the bumpy stuff at the base so that the felt becomes visible at the front and tack it okay so you're going to pull let's have a look i'm going to pull in the felt so i've got black loaded i'm on a I'm going to go a bit smaller on the old stitch allowance. I'm down to two millimetres. Make sure I've got it right sides together. Because that would be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would. Okay. I thought I'd be making a wedding dress next. I'm not. I'm making a donkey. So, does it say what the seam allowance is? A uh, half centimetre seam allowance. So, as per usual. and steady and the race it is moving against each other a little bit something to consider the somebody needs to message me and let me know how to pronounce it we're gonna call it what was it how's it read I'm not somebody who, I can't, <laughs> the bumpy stuff, that is now forever will be the technical term for the white bumpy fabric. Okay, so let's have a look at this one just because it's hot off the press. Okay, so I like to use these little scissors for, I'm going to go too close to stitching there. It is quite thick and bulky, isn't it? So left handed with these scissors. They feel alien to me, I don't like them. But they're good sharp scissors, so I use them. Okay. Ethan, please, darling. Even though mums tell me people how to sew. Gentle with it. Okay. So then it's hmm. then it says turn the ear through, pushing the tips out gently. Yep. Pleat it at the base so that the felt becomes visible at the front. Tack the lower edge to keep it in place. So we're going to pleat this bit to pull the 
grey bit in. Let's have a look at the picture. Only a little bit of shoes. like that and it says tack it so I'm just going to tack it now I've got it held in position so turn the stitch allowance up get it in there doesn't want to go under it's not but we've done it It's not a huge amount showing. It's only a little bit. Is that enough? As, as long as you hold it in place. But I'm going to do three. Oh, yeah. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's just get it done. Just for a second, let's get this trimmed. Might go a little bit in more around the bottom, see if it makes that pleaty bit a bit easier. It wasn't brutal enough on the last one. Got any poke through then? Ears made. What time on eight minutes? So then it says position is onto side heads. Let's find our side so that's arms, side body, side heads are oh, these bits here. So where is our pattern pieces? Let's make sure we've got any markings that we meant to have on. This is why I prefer coloured, um, paint, plainer coloured. Front head, side head, doesn't have any. Just shows you the dot for the ear placement. So, it's, this is the front of the head, this is the back of the head and it placed the side of back head pieces in front of you with right side facing up and front edges facing each other. Place the side. 
back head pieces in front of you with right side up and front edges facing each other. Well, that to me looks like the... Is that the back? Yes, yeah, because you put the nose on, don't you? No, thank you, Ethan. So in the picture, it's like that. So this is the front. Obviously, you put the nozzle on the nose, the nozzle. There you, there you do. Do you? We're, um, we're just going to go with it, I can't we? Because, you know. <laughs> Let's copy the book. Then take the ears and place one on each head so the contrast bouncy fabric is facing down onto the head. The bottom of the ear should sit tight to the cutout corner of the dart. The short edge of the ear should match the edge of the fount. And the cut on the cut out head dart. The pattern doesn't actually say which is the front and which is the back. So where's our ears? These are our ears. So if you look at the picture, they're doing that and that. It doesn't need, but maybe I've not cut these in enough. Kind of where my chalk line was. Okay then. Give me that that is the eye there, but that's just the dot where the um. So then you put this one here, and then you that should still be not point seven five visible. Well, only just. Oh, not James Bond on my TV. Right. Mum, can I please watch you? Yes, you can, my darling. <sighs> this one seems to be a bit deeper. That was the first one that I cut, so... Leave this on isn't lower. I'm here to discover just how deep Frego actually is. That's more like it. So the bumpy fabric is facing down onto the head, so I've got that right. Okay then. So then it says tack or based in place. So I'm going to use a long stitch again and just go for it. Okay, so I start on the fold and work my way out. Always have done. Probably Bits of fat were going uneven then. They were moving away from each other there. Oh, it's 
do this one. Get this one tagged in place. Oh, I've moved it a little bit. Sorry, machine. I didn't think it worked so hard then. Right. That's that bit done. So that is the ears made and attached to the side head pieces. And I think I'll leave this video go here now. That's so cute. Okay, it's popped slightly there. So I haven't secured it on the end properly. That's better. I know you don't want it to be so rigid, but you don't want it to fall apart on you when you're sewing either. Right, so that's those bits done. So we have the beginning the head um that's where i'm going to leave this video so that's the first part of donkey done after the cutting up business so the next part of the book asks you to do is the main i cut it in just the right way that was that was um intuitive of me so it just says cut the fur shapes as they are this one, yeah, the main will sweep forward so the pile bottom is at the, the pile bottom is at the bottom with the right sides together and keeping the ears out of the way. Match one edge of the first strip to the rounded side of the head shape, pushing the pile of the fur to the inside and away from the raw edge. Sew together using a quarter inch seam allowance. Right. That looks like it's pretty natural to this part of the video, so I will do that bit now. So this is your rounded edge, this is your fur, and the main piece I cut it. So you put it on bottom to top. So when it comes up to the top there, it stands up like that. And it's super cute. So obviously the ears at the top. So the fur needs to be sticking up that way. So you want the right sides together and you want your ear out of the way. And you also want to make sure you keep all your fur In like that. What my darling? Show them this. Okay, everybody. This is top secret. Santa left his driving license, flying license, here on Christmas Eve. And, and look on the back. So it's got A one, B one, and B two. That's the classifications of vehicles that he can drive. Yeah. How many reindeer? So we're going to have to leave that out next Christmas for Santa because got, I hope please don't pick him up in the meantime. But he's got for B2. Yeah. Because you can't drive that license, can you? No. And also he's going to go, Merry Christmas. And he might check his pocket. Where's my driving license? Oh my gosh. He's probably going back to the North Pole and they're like, Oh my God, I left it in Ethan's house. I cannot believe that's happened. This is so like, ridiculous. Yeah. And we've You'll got it. Crash oh, right oh. Into a he won't crash without his license, but if he gets picked up by the um, the flying people who check the airways to make sure people are driving safely, he won't be able to produce his license. Oh well. We like, might make in, one in for him. Okay. Well, let me just do this a minute, my darling. Me? So I'm just trying to keep all that fur out of the way. Poor Santa with his um, driving license left in the corner. <laughs> the magic, keep the magic alive. So that's one side pinned. I haven't done loads of pins because I don't. And I, I would normally pin both sides and um, sew both sides, 
but I feel this is quite delicate and requires a bit more right down to a two millimeter on that one I think so I'll do one side on camera and one side off because it's boring so swept that over just about as much as I can there's not very much fur sticking out so there is only just going to be some amount of fur it's going to be trapped but hopefully it just came out and keep it nice I'm just trying to hold the two layers together and get a natural curve to it So I'm coming up on where the ear is now. So that seam's going to get pretty thick. I'm just going to hold my thumb under it so it goes over the bulk without. And I'm going to hold my needle down, lift up the foot. I'm just going to sweep that fur over and lift again on this end bit just so it's. I don't want it to get caught. Hello? Well, that's going to sort of give you the gist. Fur is beautiful. So soft. How goddamn cute is that? I'm a little bit in love. So I'm going to finish that one here because it's 22 minutes and it's very boring. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side and then we'll have the part of the head finished. And we'll move on to the next bit, which is going to be the nose bridge and making the front of the donkey's face. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you're having a lovely day. And don't forget to like and subscribe to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.